Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. I've been busy doing um, weird biological stuff recently. So as you can see here we've got some um, machines making the um, the second tier of catalogues. It gives you an idea of how far I've got already. So we started off, as I mentioned in the last episode, I had this um, area up here with the power and the cooling be, um, already built up. And we've got an area here that's bringing in all of the um, supplies that we need for, for, this, for this process. Um, except for memory cards and these are things I'm still short of and so I, I still need to sort that out and, and get it working a bit better. Uh, it's on the to-do list. But then they flow down here as normal. I'm at some point I'm going to when I need it I'm going to put in some processing facilities here to turn the vitamelange spice into vitamelange extract but uh, I've not bothered with that yet or did I do it further down I can't actually remember. <laughs> So with biological science, as you can see from this diagram, most of the uh, complexities of it are in producing the, uh, the biological samples, so this green thing and this purple thing. And once you've got those, most of the rest of the stuff you need to do is actually relatively straightforward. It's just sort of a single machine. So the first, the first step is, as I say, producing the difficult bit at the beginning. And so here we've got the... Um, this, this, this machine here is actually making the um, the biological sample. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry, this is turning the biological samples into... Oh, into, into bio sludge. There we go. To make sure we've got enough of it. So the bio sludge is slightly complicated in that it's being brought in by train because if I go all the way over here, my recycling station is taking in contaminated bio sludge and contaminated scrap and through a series of processes turns that into bio sludge which goes into these tanks here so we need to have something to do with this so we have a train that whenever these whenever this fills up enough we bring it all over to here and drop it off in in this station and then this pump here will ensure that we use use it from here by preference it goes into this tank here this tank then say, we then say well if this tank is less than a certain amount full then we pump it through from this machine that's making more of it However, if there's already plenty in this tank, then we don't need to. We can just leave it. We can just leave it being supplied from over here. So, in theory, that should keep it balanced. We can make more when we need it, but we'll use up the overflow from the recycling facility first. So that's all good, clean, and working as it should, I believe. So that's my bio sludge production. Um, in order to get all of the, all the way up to that, there's, so there's a fair few fair few processes you need to do. So here we're making the uh, the purpley pinky goo uh, nutrient gel uh, putting it into pots which are being fed out down here and then along with vitamelange and genetic data they're being turned into more genetic data so the the uh, the pink so that works that that works in a sort of a net positive um, system um, and then we can then turn oh sorry not not genetic data it, it, it let me try that again along with that that's being then turned into the green pots of I can't remember what this is called. Let's switch over to this mode so I can actually click on things and find out what they're called. Being turned into the green pots, which are um, biocultures. Those are then being fed down into the growth machine facilities down here, uh, which grow them into into the um, the biomass samples that we've been using for everything else, and also spit out various contaminated byproducts as well. So it's a sort of a, a process that it, so that that then spits that out back out to be sent off to the um, so we then produce these bio samples. They go back up here to be turned back into sludge, and then also down here to be to be used for all the rest of the processes. So that's reasonably straightforward. But I do need more of these, as you can see. They're not. It's not keeping up, not even remotely. Um, then down here, what are we doing here? So this is the genetic state. This one's relatively easy to produce by the looks of it. Yeah, we just feed in a little bit of bio sludge, and it produces the genetic data, and that's being used back up here to make these green pots but also being fed off downwards to be turned into science so it goes it goes both ways but the whole thing up here is a um, it's a net positive thing so you just keep running round and round and round you get more and more of the things coming out of it so it works it should work quite well as long as I have enough machines to process it all we're then producing plasma which is burning some of the bio samples and producing data from that we're then crushing some of the bio samples is that what this is mechanical facility it's probably crushing it um, biomechanical data. It's doing something mechanical to it, probably squishing it and seeing what happens. And that feeds data out here every so often. We've got this one which is doing chemical data, so we're uh, perhaps dissolving it in the chemical gel with the spice, who knows. And that's producing uh, lots and lots of data which is getting pumped out like this. And then all of those get, get passed into here where this these machines will turn them into catalogue one. 
um, except there's a shortage of these ones, the biomechanical ones, so I might need to put in some more machines to build those. That's then be those are then being fed out on a train as normal, out to a train as normal to be taken off up to the station. There's 410 in there. There's not very many, but we've got quite a lot of these in reserve, so it's, it's not too it's not too serious. The next stage, though, if, going back to the diagram, this requires the purple bio samples, um, and that's a bit more um, a bit more involved. We need to take in the the pits. So a lot of these, a lot of these things, we're feeding all of these down the belts here. So we've got the uh, the nutrient gels coming down here, the pink pots coming down here. We've got bio sludge coming down here. We've got vitamelange and glass and stuff coming down here. And then down here, we're t we're making the vitamelange extract because that's needed for lots of things. And then here we're making the second type of um, genetics data. That and that requires the first type of genetics data, the that one um, biochem data and then it's mixing those together and sort of I don't know experimenting on it and that produces the second type of genetics data and that we don't have remotely enough of at the moment it seems but that gets passed into a second Christmas tree here and that allows us to make the purple goo pots which can then be grown down here into the purple bio samples uh, so it's the same sort of same sort of process again but Instead of making the green ones out of the normal genetic data, we make the purple ones out of the purple genetic data. It's 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 a similar sort of idea, but just a little bit more complicated because it's the second tier of it, which make which makes sense. <sighs> we then <laughs> need to I guess it gets more and more com but it gets more and more complicated. So this this requires, as I said, the no this one requires both of those types of data, and that's putting extra load on the systems up here that are producing them. Which is why we're having so much of a struggle making making everything down here. It's the extra the extra loads on that are, um, are slowing it all down. So I need to go through. I need to bump up supplies of everything. But then that's always the Factorio way. From that we can then do essentially it's the same thing as again. So we have but with the purple bio samples. So here we're setting fire to it and getting biocombustion resistance data to see if if we've managed to evolve more more resistant. Um, Bio uh, biomasses, it's more resistant to fire or more resistant to being squirted with chemicals and acids and things. Oh yeah, and for that we need to make the vitalic acid, which is um, another thing. So that's what the um, the, the vitamelange extract was for. Um, and we also need sulfuric acid for that. Uh, and that was, that was another thing, as, as you probably remember from the previous episode, up here I had this system that was building the um, the cryonite slush and sulfuric acid and so that's what this is one of the things sulfuric acid is needed for so we just feed it down bring it down here into the, the fluid the second second fluid station first fluid station I don't know where I'm getting the acid from that's odd oh yeah there is another there's a second fluid station down here so we're unloading the acid off here over here we're making it into the vitalic acid which can then be passed in these little containers down here to, 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 uh, to for the biochemical testing as I said then we've got the same sort of thing again with the um, mechanical facilities uh, that's this one but again this requires a previous tier of data so that's the that's the current shortage of that that um, they're not being made very quickly because there's or they're not being made quickly enough there's a high demand on those but then we can take in the biomechanical data the new the, and, and so on and just crush it again to get the level 2 data these will get fed onto the belt over here, passed along here, and then eventually all of this runs and it produces these. Um, it produces the. God, there's a lot of underground belts. It produces the catalog, the tier two catalogs. Um, why are these not running? Oh, it's, just, it's these ones. Why are you? Oh, you are running. Okay. So I need to go in here. There's a, there's a few things that need to be improved here, um, but the biggest one, I can't. The biggest problem here is that I can't tell what needs to be improved until I've got a lot more um, a lot more memory cards being made and pumped in or into the facility in general. And the memory cards, they're all made up over here. And I've grumbled about this before and said, what am I going to do about it? What's, it's a bit of a dilemma. Um, but yeah, so we've got these... these ha um, we're pumping through massive quantities of copper, huge quantities of data substrates. Uh, there's probably a train coming in here to drop drop off at least one of those. Oh no, it's red circuits this time. So we're getting through all of these things at massive rates. Um, and perhaps the answer is just to make another one of these, this entire facility, and drop it in up here. Um, 
I wouldn't need the formatting. This this one seems to be able to cope with that. I would need the uh, scrap processing because I think this does this process produce scrap? Maybe not. Oh no, it produces the contaminated um, contaminated cosmic water instead. I think. Okay, so it I could make another one of these. I could have another belt feeding the copper in and dropping off more of it. The problem is there's just not enough. There's not enough throughput here, so I'm going to need to put some put put a fair amount of effort into that and try and get it working. I think the um, yes, these 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 cards are being brought up fast enough, so that's not the problem. It is just the throughput over here dealing with all of this that's that's um, causing issues and getting enough copper in and copper in quickly enough that's causing me problems. So I'm going to need to go over and have a look at that, make it better, um, and 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 yeah, just keep working on that. But down here, this is it's working. It's just not fast enough. And that's often the case with my designs. I'll build them up to get a bit of everything coming through, and then I'll go. Then I'll have a look at it and go, okay, what's not running fast enough? What do I need to make more of? And then I can come back and add in more more machines doing those particular things until I get to the point where the whole thing is reasonably well balanced, and all of my uh, supercomputers can run at the speed they need to. Oh, I've got the, all the inputs they need to run at the speed they want to. So. That's the uh, that's been the big piece of progress I've made since the last um, since the last episode. I notice there's a lot of moaning happening here in the um, from LTN saying I don't have enough broad energy catalogs. That's sort of to be expected because they they're not being made very quickly. I think they're not being used that quickly either. So they might be being made almost quickly enough. We'll see. Apparently there's a shortage of coal and um, on on Norvis and a shortage of oil on Henkesesui. Those are both concerns. I might need to go and have a look around on Norvis and try and get that running a bit more, um, a bit more efficiently, should we say? Uh, but find a bit more coal and that sort of thing. <clears throat> There's quite a lot of going off to visit other planets and just sort of fixing things up that's needed or needed here. You see all these, uh, just to make sure everything is going to run nice and smoothly. So that's probably going to be a thing to do between episodes um, or between streams. We'll see how that goes. But in general, I think things are going reasonably well. There's quite a lot of stuff happening. Um, get rid of that. Uh, progress is being made. I've got the um, I've got the the biological science two going on here. So as you can see here, we've got um, a bit that the science is coming along reasonably well. If I tick off the ones I've done, then you can see that well. I've done. Uh, there's there's still tier three to think about with pink, orange, and green. Um, and then after that, tier four for absolutely everything, which is going to be fun. And once I've done that, I can then move on to the black sciences, the deep space ones. Those are going to be an adventure, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know what to expect from those, apart from for it to be hard. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that until I've finished, until I've finished all of the um, all of this level of, of, of stuff. But I think this is going pretty well. Um, I need to decide, as I say, I need to decide what to do next. Whether I go off and do a load of admin on other planets just sort of tidying things up and getting them working a bit more smoothly or whether i just concentrate on science because that's the fun part we'll have to wait and see so i hope you'll come back and join me for that um as, as i'm sure everyone knows by now streams are every wednesday at 7 30 with me uh, getting on with space exploration and um, usually building up some more science seeing how that goes we also have industrial revolution streams on mondays that's um good fun we have uh, lots of us playing that one usually about four people and um, at the moment we're struggling with biters but and we've spent most of the time so far struggling with biters we need to develop some more metals in order to get better ammunition in order to get uh, in order to be able to deal with the biters a bit more easily and then also to get onto higher tiers of science uh, we're also playing with some new stuff on the GTA front uh, we've moved away from just doing things that you can do by beating the normal game mode into submission and using them in ways they weren't intended to be. And now we're going in and reprogramming bits and pieces to actually allow us to have more exciting types of chases with um, with better and more meet, more uh, more flexibility in the rule sets and things. And that's good fun. So yeah, come along and join us for that. I'm also planning to try and get some more uh, DIY videos up. I don't know whether there's much overlap between the people who watch Space Exploration and the people who watch me messing around with power tools, but if there is, that's something else to watch as well. <laughs> So, lots of, lots of interesting things. I hope you'll come along and join me for all of that. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.